Hello and welcome everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is a monumental day because today we have NVIDIA Blackwell 6000 GPU over here, new sealed, packed, ready to be unboxed over here in my office. But surprise, I have not one two of these bad boys over here and i don't know if you guys can see the excitement from my voice over here i am pumped i am super excited to open these boxes and see what's inside there um at a very high level you can see the box and the packaging over here is very simple and clean it's in a simple recycling box it says reusable container do not destroy looks very underwhelming it doesn't even look like a fancy gpu in there you can't tell by the looks of it that it is housing close to 10 grams of gpu on ebay right now that you can buy and this is a beast of a gpu it definitely deserves more respect than what the packaging is doing to it also the packaging isn't that even either i don't know if you can see that it is bumped up over here and it is more even on this side so i don't know what the uh, packaging guys were thinking about it looks very underwhelming from the packaging point of view it's definitely brand new and sealed so we will have to open it in order to get inside of this okay this is built on the blackwell architecture i do already have and two nvidia 5090s in my rig and they will be replaced by this and i'll be playing with this today before i do that we definitely need a black knife to unbox the black gpu so let's do that so we have a fancy black knife over here let's go ahead and start unboxing our gpu so i'll take this first pny box and let's go ahead and very carefully unbox this okay that sounds very very satisfying let's keep the knife on the side Take the plastic off. Whoa, let's go ahead, take a look. All right. I have never done an unboxing video, but wow, wow, that looks amazing. That looks absolutely gorgeous and amazing. The simplistic packaging that is possible, and yet, whoa the beast of a car that's inside there let's see what all is in there of course there is the main thing the graphics card i'm gonna keep this aside over here for a second while i take a look at the box and see what else is in there so we have this uh hmm let's take a look at the power cable first so in terms of power we have four to one pci5 um, which is standard. So this is the same thing that I had with my NVIDIA 5090. So uh, 5090 supports 575 watts and this is for 600 watts. So I believe 150 times 4 is what the math is over here. Uh, 15 times 4 is uh, 600 watts over there. And there is something else in here too. I think this is... Hmm. I can't figure out. There is something in here for this small gpu holder maybe it is to retain two gpus together we'll figure it out whatever it is i'll keep it on the side but it looks like a, a small gpu something holder thing <laughs> i was gonna say that it is probably for a small fact um, form factor uh, case but it doesn't look like it there are two tiny screws also in here so we'll keep them aside too now here is the main deal. This is what we are here for. Wow. It looks amazing. Let's take it out of the plastic. So I'm going to undo the seal. It says warranty void if the seal is broken. So, of course, It is broken. I don't even know what would that mean. Void? Why void? I have no idea. But this is your Blackwell GPU. RTX Pro 6000. There it is. 
All right, RTX Pro 6000. Amazing. I cannot wait to put this into the rig and take a look at what my machine can do after this is inside my um, AI rig inside Jarvis. Wow, that didn't sound right. All right. So this is one, the same experience we have for the second GPU. And I'm gonna open it uh, afterwards, but uh, let me just quick take a look at some of the specs over here for this GPU. So looking at NVIDIA's uh, web page, I can see it has 96 gigs of GDDR7 with ECC. So that's also amazing. It has four display ports, it says. So let's take a look. Yep, it does indeed have four display ports, uh, 600 watts of max power consumption, and it has a double flow through air. So that is also nice. So it's gonna um, floor, hmm, yeah. Looks very solid and sturdy and feels like 600 watts for these two fans isn't sufficient, but we'll just find out. Maybe it will run a little bit higher uh, temperatures, but we'll find out. I'm not gonna be, you know, pushing a lot of load in it. Uh, it will be used for inferencing and not for training as much, even though I may use it for fine tuning and LLM training because I have this beast with me now. Uh, but of course, it doesn't look like it'll have any problem sustaining any load. Now, airflow, that could be an issue, but I'm going to be putting some external fans anyway on my rig. So that should probably help with that too. I have some uh, Noctua 1700 RPMs, industrial grade fans, which I'll be using in that system over there. So that should definitely help out with some of the airflows that we have. So let's take a look at some uh, specs also. It has 24,064 CUDA cores, which are fifth generation tensor cores. Um, they have ray tracing fourth generation. I don't care about that. I'm not gonna be gaming on these, but for AI tops, which is trillion operations per second, it has 4,000 AI tops, insane. And then for your single precision performance, it has 125 T flops. And then you have RT core performance of 380 T flops. I don't care about that. Uh, ray tracing isn't my use case over here, but for GPU memory, 96 gigabyte of GDDR7 with ECC. That is something that what, what I'm looking for. Memory interface is 512 bit. Now this is also important along with the memory bandwidth of 1792 gigabytes per second. That's capital B over there. System interface is PCIe 5 times 16, which is where exactly I'm gonna put it in, in my Asus WS uh, Pro 790 Sage motherboard, which supports seven PCIe 5 slots. Uh, and it has four display connectors, which we have already seen. The maximum simultane simultaneous displays, of course, we don't care about that. Not much video is gonna come out of this. And everything else is just awesome over here. Power, 600 watts, which is something that we'll keep, keep in mind anyway. So everything else is just standard, supports CUDA 12.8 and beyond. We have CUDA 12.9 already on it because we were running NVIDIA 5090 in that particular rig. So there should not be any issue in terms of installing and working on it out of the box. So that is it for this video. Um, I'm gonna be uh, taking both these GPUs, plugging them into my AI rig and then we will do some inferencing. And I'm thinking already putting DeepSeq R1 model, most of the layers offloaded on this. Well, if not most, then as much as we can offload it on this. And also, I think Quen 3 to 35 billion parameter can be fully offloaded on this. So we will see the performance of IK Llama, uh, Llama.cpp, and maybe even Olama can work directly out of the box with these GPUs because it will be able to offload the full Quen model on this. So we'll have just a lot of fun with these two GPUs in that AI rig. 
So stay tuned. The next video that I'll have will have a lot of details on how this card actually performs in my AI rig. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.